Shalom, 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 Israel, giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim El Chakadash, the Bahana said, Apostle to others, the GMS, who will say, Taste to Akimat, their person is word and truth and surety, risking freedom in life to do so, more so now than ever before, uh, for we are close to the end. Yeah, um, we're close, we're close to the end. And um, as a result, Things are, you know, playing out as it is written. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2, chapter 2, start at 1 in the NLT. Now, you can read it in the KJV, and it's pretty much the accurate. It's pretty much accurate. It means the same thing. But I like this translation better. You know, you know, you brothers, you know, that might be new, that's still learning, staying in KJV because... When you get translated um, to these new to these new translations, they miss certain words, and it's not accurate sometimes. But once you you know develop teeth and you've been in the in the truth for a while, you're able to decipher right from wrong. You're gonna be able to spot. Okay, they went off here. Okay, they went off there. So you know if, if you're gonna if you're gonna do videos on, on on NLT or the GNT or different translations other than KJV, just know what you're doing, and always ask for reference if you if you're stuck on something that that you know the translation might have went off in, you know. But uh, nevertheless, Habakkuk two verse one in the NLT, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. There I will wait to see what the Lord says and how he will answer my complaint. Uh, then it says, verse 2, Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. Right, and that's what we do. You know, um, we, took, we took the scriptures and we read it according to the truth. The truth of the Bible. Um, and we and we spread the message to those that have ears to hear. You see? It says, um, verse three, this vision is for the for a future time. See, it's for the future. See, that's that's prophecy. Because a lot of a lot of scriptures that see uh, one example, Habakkuk. You know, a lot of these prophets have prophesied of a time that's supposed to happen in the future, and we're living in that time now. It says, um, It says, uh, verse 3, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Right, man. So this time is this. And that was the main point. We've been prophesied for all these years about the uh, this this upcoming war, World War Three, which is going to be a nuclear war. We've been speaking about it for a while, and people brush us off. Um, for many years, we've been called crazy. We call everything under the sun. It's a uh, true prophets of the Lord. So as a result, you know, this is about to happen. And there's more and more talks of, about this as time goes on. So this is as of October 5th, 2024, in quote, Hit the nuclear first and worry about the rest later. Trump urges Israel to strike Iran. See, people don't understand this whole Middle East thing. It's not going to just stay in the Middle East. It's going to be global. You know, if you read the Joel, the third chapter, that's where the Heavenly Father is going to assemble the troops in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is um, Yahweh Shapat, meaning the, the Valley of the Lord's Decision. All right. That's where his, he's going to put his judgment. And what's his judgment? The second, the second death, which is the, the death by fire, nuclear exchange. All right. That's when that's when, you know, Israel is going to the true Israelites is going to be delivered. But it can't happen until there's coming war. So it says Trump's comments, Trump's comments came in response to U.S. President Joe Biden's earlier statements cautioning Israel against striking Iranian nuclear facilities. 
Former President Donald Trump stated that Israel should target Iran's nuclear facilities while speaking at a campaign event in Fayetteville, North Carolina, on Friday. Trump's comments came in response to U.S. President Joe Biden's earlier statement cautioning Israel against striking Iran's nuclear facilities. All right? And he said, man, he said, hit that damn button, man. Hit that button, man. You see? And look, this is 44 minutes ago. Middle East Crisis Live, IDF, or Israel Defense Force, preparing response to Iran attack as Macron urges halt to arm deliveries to Israel. French president says it is time to stop delivering weapons to fight in Gaza. So, every, as you can see, man, everything is brewing up. Everything is brewing up. And it's about to come to fruition, the judgment. Second Peter 3 and... And let's see, we can start at 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As men, as some men, count slackness. Wait, so the Heavenly Father, although he said he's going to promise Israel the kingdom, he's going to destroy the world with fire. Um, because it ain't happened yet doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. You know, when the Lord says something, he's going to do it, even though... It might seem like it's taking forever. Some men is going to count in slack. Like, you know, the Lord is not going to do it. And these be the same guys that fall out and, and, and they go about living their life. Not watching the news, not realizing the times that we're in. He said, but is long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. And that's the only reason why, you know, this this terrible events hasn't taken place yet, because the Heavenly Father is having mercy um, on us, you know, the Heavenly Father has mercy on his elect and the elect didn't get sealed yet so it's not time verse 10 is the point but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the knife, in night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, how is the heavens going to pass away with a great noise, does it mean the heavens no, it means the earth alright now, not the whole earth, because the scripture also say, man, the earth abided forever. The earth lives forever. But um, the great noise is going to come from the detonation of nuclear bombs throughout the whole world. You know, mainly here in America and Israel. That land is going to be completely wiped out. And America is going to be completely wiped out, never built again. Going to the scriptures. It said, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also, also and the works that are at the end should be burnt up, right? So, you know, even the earth itself and the works, everything that's done in the earth is going to be burnt up. And the only thing that has the ability to do that is nuclear weapons. You see? Um, and this is the reason why, you know, there's constant talks about a nuclear exchange. You know, it, it, once you have nuclear weapons, it's no longer, oh, tit for tat here, we won the war. No. Because once you have nuclear weapons, any side, any side that's losing feels like it can neutralize a loss by sending nuclear missiles, sending nuclear whistles to say, you know what, fuck them. I'm going to just wipe out 100,000 people. Send a missile. If you send a missile, the other the opposing side is gonna send a missile. Now you got nuclear exchange. You see. So yeah, man, prophecy is is, is speeding up. It's like your prophecy is speeding up. You know, it, it's things is getting heated. You know, we called it years ago. Elder Elder Tahar on down said that um you know all we're waiting for is israel to attack iran or vice versa and it's on and popping we'd be out of here in no time um we could clearly see as as the sky is blue we can see that um we're in that time so you know brothers that might be feeling a little weak in the faith understandable you know things have kind of been slow 
But now it's speeding up, you know, so we got to put our gears on 10, 1,000. Stay prayed up. Call out y'all by Shah. You know, stay stay down in the faith, man, Um, because this time is close. So with that, I want to give up praise to you. How old by Gmail Shah by Shah. Chaka Das, the monitor, the apostle, the elder, the G-Master. We will ask you to teach you. I can't until next time. Shalom.